So with an increase in shift to OTT platforms and advent of new technologies, digital piracy is turning out to be a huge issue that the companies are currently struggling with. It is also one of the impacts of the lockdown that has accelerated this issue. People are shifting more towards OTT platforms and with many subscriptions, they are trying to get free content. At times with delayed release in exclusive content, consumers try to gain access through unauthorized sources, illegal streaming boxes, data sharing on internet, social media, password sharing are some of the ways of pillaging digital content. Sir, your movie leak hai. Huh? All of this leads to huge loss in revenue. And as you can see, heart attacks. The question is, if we don't prioritize dealing with digital piracy now, it will only increase bigger menace in future. To learn more about it, stay tuned till the end of the video. Lockdown has only accelerated digital piracy in India. Restrictions on theatres, public places for entertainment has contributed to piracy affecting the owners who are the original content creators or the producers of such content. As per a report by Digital TV Research, the loss of revenue for OTT players on account of piracy in India is expected to hit USD 3.8 billion by 2022 while the cost of global online streaming piracy will reach USD 52 billion by 2022. Information Technology Act 2000 and Technology Intermediary Guidelines and Digital Media Ethics Code Rules 2021 seek to regulate social media platforms, OTT and provide grievance redressal. The Indian Copyright Act 1957 aims to protect owners of the work with exclusive rights, although it has few exceptions. It gives them freedom to lawfully commercialize their work with guarantee to protection from plagiarism and piracy. Works protected under Copyright Act include audiovisual works such as TV shows, movies and online videos, sound recording and musical composition, written works such as lectures, articles and books, and musical compositions, visual works such as paintings, posters and advertisements, video games and computer software, dramatic works such as plays and musicals. Fair dealing or fair use is an exception under the Copyright Act used to avoid allegations of piracy or plagiarism. John Doe Injunctions The Copyright Act also provides a legal remedy for obtaining preemptive injunctions against unknown infringer. These are popularly known as John Doe Injunctions. It is used in cases where an infringer is not traceable or if an infringement is anticipated and has not been found. As remedy provided by the court, such pirating websites links are blocked. You know nothing, John Doe. The reality is People in general do not view digital piracy as a crime and this lack of awareness impacts the businesses. It also affects the content creators, producers and everyone connected with production of digital content. Unfortunately, we Indians ranked third in the world in accessing piracy websites in 2021 with six and a half billion visits to these websites. But we did some interesting stuff to fight it out. Have you seen the movie Uri the Surgical Strike in theatre or on torrent? Well, if you watch it on torrent, you know what I am talking about. Densu Web Chutney did a surgical strike on pirates by this very interesting campaign that they created. They created a fake version of the film as bait for people who love to pirate. In this clip which we are going to show now, the real actors appear asking people to go and watch it in theatres. Have a look at this. Picture dekhi hai. Garb se. Theater mein ja kar. Chori chipe illegal download kar ke nahi. Many OTT platforms are working towards having robust digital tools like digital rights management, forensic watermarking and midstream rights checking to strike down illegal content violating its copyrights. 
Even platforms like Telegram and WhatsApp are part of this piracy chain, where pirated versions were circulated. However, they claim to be protected by end-to-end -end encryption and cannot disclose information on users. The industry also feels there needs to be robust digital piracy framework which is need of the hour. It is to be noted that most litigations in India by copyright owners are against the platforms facilitating access and exchange of pirated content. There are hardly any instances of actions against consumers and disseminators of the pirated content on such platforms. Till coercive actions are taken, it will be difficult to change the public perception on piracy. This is the biggest challenge in dealing with the digital piracy for which there needs to be a collective effort. Now Radhi was another film which faced piracy even though the OTT platform had a stringent process for content protection. <laughs> इस वीडियो को लाइक करो, कमेंट करो, सब्सक्राइब करो हमारे चैनल को। बताना कैसी लगी वीडियो। पायरेटेड